Good afternoon, everyone. This is Stacy from Las Vegas. I wanted to report on <coughs> the status of the Oregon trial that is going forward after the first set of defendants were found not guilty. I received an email. Um, I am signed up with It Matters How You Stand and Doug, uh, who runs the website, was uh, gracious enough to send this update out. Uh, the federal prosecutor status report on the remaining seven Oregon standoff defendants. Uh, for those that don't know, um, Jason Patrick, Dwayne Leo Elmer, Dylan Anderson, Sean Anderson, Sandra Lynn Anderson, Daryl Williams Thorne, and Jake Ryan are all waiting uh, trial in Oregon. So the status update. The government intends to proceed on count one of the superseding indictment charging conspiracy to impede officers of the United States against the seven defendants scheduled for trial on February 14th. Well, that's a lovely way to spend Valentine's Day. The government further intends to proceed on count two of the superseding indictment charging possession of a firearm in a federal facility against the six defendants scheduled for trial who are named in count two. With respect to count six, the superseding indictment charging the depredation of government property, the government intends to proceed against Jake Ryan but will move to dismiss count six, to six against Sean Anderson. The government, however, does intend to present to a grand jury in the near future a felony charge of de depredation of government property against Dwayne Leo Emmer. If the grand jury returns an indictment against defendant, the government would then seek to join this charge with the other charges in the superseding indictment. Finally, the government intends to file a misdemeanor information with the forfeiture notice in this case, charging various Class B misdemeanors against the defendants, including trespassing, tampering with vehicles and equipment, and destruction of property. The government plans to file the misdemeanor information by Friday, December 16, 2016, and the government will seek to join these misdemeanor charges against the same trial as the felony charges noted above. The government anticipates that this chief and case will last approximately a week and a half. Defendants anticipate their, that their case in chief will last no longer than two and a half weeks. <clears throat> uh, defendants report that they are prepared to file pretrial motions two weeks after the government file, files its superseding charges. The parties propose that any further dates be set during the status conference on December 14th, just two days away. <clears throat> the motion for continuance of trial date. Under a separate filing, the government will be moving for a 60-day continuance of the trial date. Defendants object to the government's motion dated this 12th day of December. So they, uh, Ethan Knight, uh, Craig J. Gabriel, Bill... Billy J. Williams, all filed this in court today. <clears throat> you know, um, the fact that they're filing a 60-day continuance, I think that's ridiculous. I think they've had enough time to prepare for this trial. And if they don't have their shit together now, they're never going to. But I also find it odd that they are filing all these misdemeanor charges against them. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to throw these out there, hoping they'll stick and then maybe later come back and try to charge the guys that just uh, were found not guilty with some type of misdemeanors or whatever. So it seems to me like, uh, you know, the prosecution is not going to let this go. They're going to do what they can to, you know, get in a, you know, get a guilty somewhere. Uh, the information comes from the new website that was just uh, put up uh, last week at mattershowyoustand.com. Uh, like to thank Mr. Knowles uh, for keeping up to date with all this information. Here in Nevada, I know that we are preoccupied uh, with doing some research and trying to find a home for the team that's here in Nevada, but we are still concerned 
about those in Oregon and ask that everybody continue to pray and support these men. Um, we're hoping for a not guilty verdict also for them. So um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.